Hi everybody, my name is John Chemnitz. I'm a program manager on the Azure Monitor team. And today we're going to talk about how you can rapidly onboard to Azure Monitor to get set up with all of that good data, application data and infrastructure data heading into your Azure environment and getting consumed by some of the most popular monitoring tools that you might be using. So we'll talk about two primary things today. The first one I want to talk to you about is getting data onboarded into Log Analytics. Now, if you're familiar with Log Analytics, Log Analytics is a really powerful log tool that allows you to bring all of your log data together, uh, do advanced analytics, query over that data, build charts, and even use these out-of-the-box solutions that give you visibility into both your infrastructure and the applications that are running on your infrastructure. So what we wanted to do was show you how you can really easily get all that data from all these areas of your Azure environment set up to go into Log Analytics in just a few clicks. Now, if you've used Log Analytics or Azure Monitor before, you'll know that we have a very uh, source-centric view of the world, which means most of the data is going to be routed from a VM or from a SQL database or even from your Azure Activity Log. And if you've got an environment that involves tens, hundreds of subscriptions, and potentially thousands of resources, it's really not easy for you to manage getting all that set up and maintaining the state of that over time. And so we'll show you how to do that first with Log Analytics, but then we'll also show you how to do it with Azure Monitor routing that data into an event hub. Now, Azure event hubs are a very powerful, high-scale telemetry eventing bus. And they're a great way to collect all of your Azure telemetry from various sources into a single location and then connect up to either uh, one of our partner tools, so tools like Splunk, QRadar, Sumo Logic, or to your own custom tool. The Azure Event Hub is kind of a developer tool that would allow you to collect all this data into your own custom ELK instance, or even just your own uh, machine learning analytics tools that you may have built out as part of your security or application development monitoring uh, teams. And so we'll show you how to do this first for Log Analytics, and then show you as well how you can do this with an Event Hub as the output as well. Azure's an open ecosystem. We're happy to have both a premium offering like Log Analytics that makes it super simple to get set up and analyze your logs with Azure end-to-end, -end. but we also want to make sure that you get access to this data for your own tooling and your own custom environments as well. So, uh, what we'll show you first is a little bit about how to connect this data into Azure Log Analytics. So Log Analytics really revolves around this concept of a workspace. This is kind of the container or the database that all of your logs are going to go into. So before you even get started here, make sure that you've gone into the Azure portal and created a Log Analytics workspace. Once you've got that workspace, that resource ID to your workspace is what we're going to use to set up a variety of sources to send data in. And we'll talk specifically about three different types of sources of data that you can send into Log Analytics, uh, Azure specific uh, data. The first of these is data from virtual machines. Now, if you're using virtual machines to run your applications, you're well aware that the majority of the interesting data coming from Azure Virtual Machines is emitted to something like the, uh, the Windows Event Log or to Linux Syslog. You may be emitting this data via your own custom log files that are, uh, that are on the operating system. And using an agent like the Log Analytics agent, we make it very easy for you to get set up to collect any sort of log data, whether it's coming from a standard channel like ETW, Windows Event Viewer or Syslog, or data that may be coming via your own custom mechanism, a custom log, or a custom API call, a custom pipeline like that. So the Log Analytics agent really is a great way to aggregate this data from a single VM and then upload it into your Log Analytics workspace. 
Another type of data that you have available is Azure resource data. So once you move out of the virtual machine space and really what we would call the compute space, there's interesting log and, and metric data available from your Azure resources where you couldn't install an agent. So I'll give you an example of a network security group or an Azure SQL database. Chances are you care about those SQL audit logs, your network security group events. All of that data is helpful in understanding how your application's working, and you want an easy way to route all of that data into log analytics. And we do that using uh, what we call the Azure Monitor Diagnostic Settings. Azure Monitor Diagnostic Settings are essentially a capability that allows you to say what data you want to route from an Azure resource and where that data should go. One of those destinations is Log Analytics. And so you'll see it's very easy to set this up, route your, either your Azure data coming from within a virtual machine or from other, any other Azure resource uh, to send that data into Log Analytics. And finally, uh, a core piece of data that you want to have access to in Log Analytics is the information about kind of all up what's happening in your Azure subscription. We would call this your Azure Activity Log data. The Activity Log tracks things like uh, what uh, new resources have been deployed, what resources have been deleted, who was authenticated and given access to a subscription. Um, all of that interesting data appears in your activity log, and you can also connect that up per subscription into Log Analytics. Now, if you think about this, across all of your virtual machines, all of your Azure resources, and even all of your Azure subscriptions, there's a lot of touch points. And so what we've done is set up a few simple steps that help you get set up end to end without investing a significant amount of time. So the first step here is going to be to enable an Azure Resource Manager built-in policy. Now, the Azure Resource Manager policy engine enables you to automatically deploy the right setup uh, as soon as a resource gets created. We call this Greenfield, or when a new resource gets created. And I'll show you right here, in the Azure portal, there's a very simple way to set up one of these policies. So all I have to do is click Assign Policy. I've already navigated to the Azure Policy section of the Azure portal. And then I'm going to basically choose which policy definition I need. And once I click this, uh, this button here, I'll be able to browse a certain type. Now, we've pre-built a set of built-in policies for Azure Monitor and routing resource-level data to Log Analytics, so you can just apply those without having to think about that. I'll show you one in particular, which is we have both Windows Virtual Machine and Linux Virtual Machine support to automatically deploy the Log Analytics agent and get it set up on a virtual machine as soon as that virtual machine is created. And that means that without having to think about this every time you create a VM, this just happens without any intervention. And so I can select one of these policies, and then if needed, I can choose a scope for this if I want it to only be on a certain resource group or a certain set of subscriptions, um, define any exclusions, and then I'll give my Log Analytics workspace and click Assign. Once I've done that, any new, resource, any new virtual machine that I create will automatically have this policy applied. So we showed you how to do that on a virtual machine. The same is also true for these other Azure resource types. So policies are available for both of those scenarios. And then the step two, we provide a set of scripts in PowerShell that with a few simple inputs can automatically set up this for all of your existing resources. So these scripts enable you to, uh, in one PowerShell command, go out and immediately set up the agent on all the machines that already exist. We also have an equivalent for the Azure Activity Logs for all the subscriptions you have that already exist. And of course, for all of your resource level data, these scripts will go out and create uh, the right diagnostic settings routing all your logs into Log Analytics. All you really need to do is provide the workspace ID. Um, 
you'll let us know which resource type so you can scope by which resource type you want to enable this for, as well as a subscription ID. And in, in one simple PowerShell commandlet, you'll have all of your resources set up here. So that shows you that in just a few quick steps, you can get all this data set up to be routed into log analytics, where you can analyze it, where you can use solutions, and you can really understand and make meaning of the data. Um, much more simple than navigating one by one to each one of your virtual machines and configuring those VMs one by one. Uh, I also wanted to share a little bit about how you can do this if you're not using log analytics. Um, in fact, if you're using log analytics, you can also use this path. Many customers tell us that they love an log analytics. They like being able to route their data there and use the built-in solutions. Uh, but they also use another tool such as QRadar for their uh, security analytics. And so they also want to have an additional way to route the data to that uh, tool as well. And that's where Event Hubs come in. Event Hubs, as I mentioned, can handle an extremely high volume of event data extremely cheaply and get that data in near real time to whatever logging tool you're using. And so what we wanted to show you was how easy it is to equivalently get all of this data set up to be routed into an Event Hub. So all I need to do in the Azure portal is basically get my Azure Event Hub, create an Azure Event Hub, and then get the authorization rule for that Event Hub. So if I were to navigate to the Azure portal and uh, navigate to an Event Hub that I've created, what you'll see is on the Event Hub blade, I will have a set of uh, shared access policies or uh, authorization rules that are associated with this Event Hub namespace. So in this case, my policy name is root managed shared access key. Now, this is that key that you're going to give to Azure Monitor to set up various types of data to route in. From that point onwards, things are going to look a lot like they did uh, when we set up log analytics. So first of all, we have built-in policies for this. That means that it's very easy for you to go in and use one of our built-in policies that will automatically set up routing of any Azure data to an event hub uh, just as soon as that resource gets created. And then we also have scripts that will set this up using the event hub authorization rule uh, to set this up on any uh, existing resources that you may already have in your subscription. So getting that set up is very simple, and it can be done for both log analytics as well as for event hub. Now, how do you get started? Visit us at aka.ms slash azmononboarding for the full guide and access to download these scripts that will help you to get set up. You can always learn more about Log Analytics or about any of our partners that are able to integrate using Event Hubs uh, using the links that you can see up on the screen right now. And there's more to come. We've been working on making this easy for you to get set up with a lot of data being routed to any of these destinations. And we'd love to hear your feedback via the Azure user voice. So thank you very much for your time, and I hope you'll take the chance to try this out.